Alright, so next experiment, I think we are going to try and see how many moons that we can get around Earth. I'm not sure where all the moons Random small moon? Random moon, how about that? Okay, let's put a random moon around Earth. Okay, first moon. I guess we don't have normal moon. Where's the normal moon? I want to put the normal moon in. Where's the moon? Moon! Okay, normal moon is going to be somewhere out here. Here's our normal moon. Okay, so now Earth has two moons. I wonder if that will do anything to Earth. I mean, is there any measurements that I can do just by adding a million moons? Uh, random, random small moon. Here we go. Small moon, 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 moon. Many, many satellites. Hopefully they don't crash into each other. Otherwise, that might be fun. Oh, shit. Are they affecting each other's orbits? Oh, oh, we just had a collision into Earth. Oh, boy. Okay, ah, uh, shit. Oh. Fragment, fragment, fragment. Oh my god, they're gonna end up going into Earth. Earth is gonna end up getting its own, like, rings. You know, we get rid of the trails, things will be considerably less laggy. So we just got a random fragment right here, and it's, like, not even that massive. At least in terms of astronomical scale. Everything's burning up in the atmosphere? Okay. Up into this moon right here. This moon had an impact. Oh, shit. Nestinas. I'm so sorry, Nestinas. Oh my god, you just see like this big shadow? Just imagine that, like you're just living your day and all of a sudden this giant shadow just appears out of nowhere. Random small moon. La 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 la. Let's get them really close to the planet too. Just to increase the danger. I don't want to be able to like change like the eccentricity of all of these orbits. Like why is it, why do we always have to place it on the same axis? Oh wait, how's the moon doing here? The moon's about to bring in something! Oh, collision on the moon! Oh boy! <laughs> poor moon. Poor, poor moon. It's like, it's like these two moons right here are gonna be vacuums for, uh, uh the solar, uh, the Earth system. It's gonna suck up a bunch of the smaller moons, and all that's gonna be left is a big moon. That's actually kinda how it works in the, uh, the outer solar system with comets. A lot of the comments, comments will act- <laughs> They can comment, like, in the YouTube comment section. A lot of the comments, uh, a lot of the comets will get attracted by Jupiter, and Jupiter will end up uh, sucking up a lot of the comets that will otherwise, you know, go towards the inner planets and, you know, pose a threat to humanity. So you can thank Jupiter for keeping us alive. So be sure to thank Jupiter. I want, I want to see those thank yous. Thank you, Jupiter! Oh boy, we got, we're gonna about, have, about to have another impact right here! Oh, boom! There's gonna be another one. Another impact! Oh, shit! It's gonna skid by. Or... No, no, wait, 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 is it gonna- Oh, it's so close, it almost hit! <laughs> this thing is gonna have a moon of itself. Anything gonna collide into Earth? Nothing's colliding into Earth. Oh god, that thing- oh, Just imagine seeing that in the sky. You just see that glowing fireball of a, of a moon. That'd be so, like, it'd be terrifying, but that would be so badass to see in the sky. It's like, holy shit, that is apocalyptic. <laughs> in a fucked up way, but whatever. Oh! Oh, something just hit Earth. This one just had a close encounter. Fat fragments going around. This is kind of fun to watch. Random moon. Okay, let's put this moon right here. Let's put this moon right here. That moon. We're gonna have a bunch of more outer moons. Put another moon right in here. So now we got a bunch of bigger moons that will attract a lot of the smaller moons. Let's put more random small moons in. I want to see them collide. I want to see chaos. Oh, two moons just hit! What the fuck? Oh boy. Oh, look at this moon going. This moon is just like escaping Earth. Because it just got knocked right out. Holy shit, this is cool. Imagine if Earth had like this much fun of a sky. Like that would be fun to look at. A lot more people would look up in the sky just because it's so much more fun to look at. It's more entertaining. Oh, no, 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 no! The moon! The moon! <laughs> we just lost our moon! Our moon is gone! Oh my god, no, it got taken over by Nestinas. We gotta bring it back. We gotta bring in the real moon. <laughs> oh no, that was supposed to survive. Actually, realistically, the moon is actually like maybe probably like this far out. It's a, the, Our moon is actually very far out from Earth. Oh my god, how, how is Earth's water? Oh god! Oh no, another one's gonna hit! Oh, wait, nope, nope, nope. Close approach, that's all. Look at these. Look at those big shadows! <laughs> oh god! Earth just got carpet bombed! We're just- it's just sucking up all the water! Oh my god!
No! Earth! It's the apocalypse! Oh no. No, all the water's gone. Earth is a rock planet now. It's all dried up, evaporated. No! No! Earth! Oh god. Oh, it's like an eclipse right here. Look at that. That thing is in shadow. So it just looks like an eclipse. Did Earth completely lose its atmosphere? Because I am not seeing any atmosphere anymore. This is all land. Earth is hot, actually, it looks like. Let me see. Climate. Earth is at 305 Celsius right now. Oh my. Oh, Rest in peace, California. Well, some of it. Actually, I think I might have just survived, but I don't think I would be surviving in this kind of weather. Fuck it. Let's have Mercury just orbiting out here somewhere. I mean, it's like four times the size of the moon. Let's see what that does. Let's bring the moon back as well. Did that moon die? Did our moon die again? It should be still out there somewhere, right? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the amount of moons that is added around here. Or will Earth survive? Let's find out. Oh god. Look at this shit. <laughs> this thing is just getting caught. They're just clunking into each other. <laughs> this is so unreal. Oh, that thing is going right for Earth. Oh, God. Big fireball. Big fireball coming in. Oh, boy. Impact. Boom. Goodbye, Africa. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, it's getting close. That thing is getting closer. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's up these things. Let's up the stakes. Okay. More big moons. Big, big, giant moons. Moons circling around Earth. So dangerous. Tidal forces through the roof. And let's put a bunch of small ones in to, you know, kind of aggravate them all. Oh, God. Let's see if Earth survives this chaos. No, nothing's really hitting Earth, but the big moons are clunking into each other. Look at that. Boom. Boom. Oh. What's that big one? Oh. Rest in pieces, Earth! Oh, and then this one, they're just rubbing salt in the wounds. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I am so sorry, Earth. I want to launch Pluto at Earth. Actually, I want to launch Pluto at everything in the solar system. Let's, let's reload the solar system. Okay, so, first, we're gonna fire Pluto at the sun. Actually, we're not gonna add things. We're going to fire Pluto. Shoot body. Pluto, fire! Okay, that was too fast. I wanna see it again. Hold on, Pluto. Hold on, you went way too fast. Stop spinning, sun. Thank you. Okay. Pluto, go! That was too fast again. Let's do it again. I wanna see Pluto actually go, Pluto. The sun is so massive. Okay, well, that's what happens when you fire Pluto at the sun. It's very massive. Okay, Mercury. Let's see what happens when you fire Pluto at Mercury. Okay. Go! Too fast. <laughs> slow down. Okay, very, very slow. So Mercury turns into a big fireball. Okay, great. When you fire Pluto at it. How about Venus? Venus, would you like to have a Pluto? Shots right at you. Well, you don't really get a say in the matter. Pluto. Why is Pluto like ice, water or ice? That's what happens to Mercury. Oh, sorry, not Mercury. It happens to uh, Venus. Does Mer Venus turn into the big fireball? Hold on, I'm gonna let Venus cool down a bit. Right, speed up, speed up, speed up. And then I want you to cool down. What happened there? Actually, Venus lost a lot of its atmosphere when that happened. I wonder if that makes Venus habitable. Now that we launched Pluto right into it. Let me see, the temperature of Venus is at 533 Celsius. Okay, still kind of hot, but, but I think it, it could still be doable. Now let's see what happens when we launch Pluto at Earth. Goodbye, Pluto! Boom! Okay, does Earth turn into a big fireball? Speed up, speed up. Yes, it does. Although only part of the planet, not all of the planet gets engulfed in flame. Backside of the planet, it actually 
a bit of the planet survives, it seems. Well, let's just let this thing cool down. Maybe it'll slowly become habitable again. Over time, as time goes by. Oh my god, let me see those craters. Okay. Oh my god. Giant craters all over the planet. Hey, there's the US right there. How was Africa though? Because Africa is the one that took the bulk of the damage. Yeah. I'm not sure if those are realistic looking craters, but, but hey, let's see if it cools down. Water is coming back. Water is indeed coming back. But how much land mass is there going to be? It seems that most of the planet is now engulfed in water. And actually, for some reason, part of the South Pole is not frozen. <laughs> we seem to have a new continent. That's actually kind of cool. Is there anything? Was there really that only one eye? Look at that. I'm pretty sure this is Chile. So Chile survives. If Pluto gets thrown into Earth and hits Africa, Chile will survive. Okay. Does California survive? Is that California? I think that's a part of Mexico. Wow. I think that's China. Oh, that's the Himalayas. <laughs> of course, the Himalayas uh, survive because they're the highest mountains in the world. So you got Chile and you got the Himalayas. The highest mountains in the world will survive. I don't know why there's more water. Maybe it's, maybe there's more water now because uh, because maybe Pluto's got ice and that technically added more water to the planet. <laughs> so there you go. We got more water. Chili gets to live. I mean, you'll burn up for a little bit, but you know, if you can hold out, you can survive. Let's throw Pluto into Mars and see what happens. Maybe me. Actually, I'm going to try and try and strategically aim this. Okay, Mars, you need to go into the Goldilocks zone. You need to be habitable. So I'm going to try and shoot you towards the sun. Get closer like a ping pong ball. All you need is a little push. Get close to the sun. Okay, so that's what happens to Mars. Does Mars have clouds? Are those clouds? What am I looking at? These are clouds or snow or something. So throwing Pluto into Mars seems to give it an atmosphere. Okay. With water. I mean, I guess that makes sense because like they it's polar ice caps are melting. So sure, let's let let's let it go. Okay. Eventually, it's gonna have water and an atmosphere though. And then it cools down and it looks a lot like the moon. It completely lost its red color, its oxidation in the soil. That's why Mars is red, it's because it, uh, it's the oxidation. Uh, basically, Mars is a rusty planet. That's why it's red. Okay, okay, 300 Celsius. If I can, if I can get it down to maybe 50 Celsius, we should have water. Or maybe no, less than 100 Celsius, what am I saying? Less than 100 Celsius and we'll have water. Yes, look, water on Mars! Holy shit! Mars is habitable, for the time being at least, so it's at boiling temperature right now. But, uh, hey, look at that. How long will it last though? It's eventually gonna turn into an ice planet. Look at all the water. That's insane. Okay, let's slow it down. So that's what Mars looks like. When you throw Pluto into Mars, you will get this very momentarily. It's at, currently at a temperature of 46 degrees Celsius. It's like 120 degree day. If I think that's it's gotta be something like that. It's probably with the 40s and the Celsius. Uh, but, you know, it's gonna cool down eventually. Eventually it's gonna turn into an ice planet, but you do have a window of uh, habitability. Now, did me flinging Mars closer to the sun help? Probably not. So, eventually it's gonna turn into an ice planet. And now it's frozen. There we go. Frozen Mars. Ice planet. That's so cool. The concept of an ice planet. And you can see a little bit of the craters in there. And that's what Mars will turn into. Eventually it's going to get so cold you're not even going to see the clouds. The clouds will freeze up and then it'll just be an ice ball. It's probably going to happen soon too. Ta-da! Our ice planet. That's actually a really cool looking planet. <laughs> with the craters and everything. I would want to land on that, even though it's at minus 50 degrees Celsius. What happens when we launch Jup uh, Pluto at Jupiter? Go! Pluto is very far away from Jupiter. Let's speed it up. There it goes. Boom! 
And then it does practically nothing. It's like an asteroid hitting it. Uh, that'll probably just heat up Jupiter very momentarily. Actually, it did jack shit. <laughs> Jupiter was not even phased. But maybe Saturn will be phased. Saturn, for some reason, has no rings uh, when you're just looking at it this way. But let's fire it at Saturn. This is Saturn, indeed. It just doesn't have the rings for some reason. Boom! Probably gonna do jack shit as well. Look at that. Absolutely nothing. It's like, I don't give a shit about Pluto. They're the big bullies of the solar system. They show no emotional response to uh, their old friend getting launched into them. That's so sad. Alright, we're about to launch Pluto into Uranus. Oh, this is gonna be great. All right, and let's try and stop Uranus's orbit. <laughs> or sorry, stop its uh, its spin. Didn't do anything. That was just no response whatsoever. <laughs> Neptune, maybe Neptune will have a response. <laughs> we'll see. All right, and Neptune. Jack shit. No, oh, sorry, sorry, Pluto. Now, what if we launch Pluto at Pluto? Now that is science. I can't even can't even light up Pluto at all. Okay, Pluto into Pluto. Ho! Pluto, you okay? Where's it going? Pluto! Pluto, I'm sorry, it was like a ping pong ball. Wait, where's the solar system? It's like it's like billiards. Well, at least we know Pluto can have a fun impact on itself. Maybe that's just the moral of the story, is that only you are the solution. Only you can change yourself. You can affect yourself the most. I don't know. I think that concludes this experiment of launching Pluto into things. It can be fun. It can also be disappointing. Mostly for Pluto.